What to wear today? What to wear? No. 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 Yeah. So what are we buying? The drinks for you fat friends of mine. Drinks and um, chips. <laughs> you guys are visiting? What's that? Visiting? Um, uh, no, we, I don't live in Walmart, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> you guys are just visiting Florida. Oh, no. I am a Floridian. The reason why I'm asking is she's taking pictures of you. That's true. I am. I um, so We do this every day. I'm really ecstatic to always take pictures of me. That's Probably because I'm so good looking. I think it's you that's why you're trying to take pictures of me. <laughs> Mostly when she's sleeping. She doesn't know. Okay, guys. Today's the event. The event. It is Friday, November 4th, 2011. This is where people are going to be today. This doesn't open! Ah! I'm gonna go around. It's very nice though. Very nice. Welcome to the outdoor room with a group. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say welcome to Jurassic Park. No, we can't. Aw. Oh. It's really freaking nice. Look, we got the TV set up in here and stuff. We got Connect. We got, of course, we got the Road to Kunda DVD. Here it is. Right here in person. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Dong, go get the pizza. Go get the pizza. Bad. No, but fat. Are you hungry? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh. At all. Well. <laughs> She ate McDonald's and she's like, I'm good. I ate cold McDonald's and I'm not good. Yeah. Actually, you didn't. I did. Everybody is, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are here. Jessica, Lauren, Amanda. Woo! Hi. Hi. We can call her Foxy Nazi. Alex, of course. What would we do without Alex? Come on. And what, I, what what's up with Nick, man? Nick said he's sorry. He's sorry. He came out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And and jo <laughs> Joey. <laughs> Who else is here? Who else is coming? I mean. Dad. Oh yeah, Chelsea. It's your turn, Greg. There's Chelsea. Hey. Hey. Hello. There is Amanda. Yes. Hi. Okay. Playing connect. Wait. Am I, do I have to bowl? I got this. I got this. Nope. Nope. Oh, I got this. I got this. Off to the left like I usually do. That's how you do it. Alright. We got some dubstep going on even though you just shut it off. Oh yeah. So yes, we do listen to dubstep I guess. Oh yeah. I don't. Why not? That's good. Put it in that one, no. It's my ass I don't like dubstep. What's up, Jacob? We got Ernie here. Okay. And uh, who else? Oh, Fisher. Hello. It's an expert hookah man right here. There it is. Now let's change that to the Kunda. Everything to say before we start this, Dalton? I lost my glasses. You lost your glasses. Doesn't mean that you can't see it. I have to stand right here the whole time. <laughs> no, I can still see it. I can still see it from back there. And I have really bad eyes. So. Ah. We just got done watching the movie. We're about to get as much people as we possibly can to uh, let you guys know how it is. So, right here, this is the interview chair. Let's do it. Alright, so, this whole documentary is about 
to white people's journey to the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is in Africa. Most people don't know a lot about the Congo, myself included, but what you do hear about the Congo isn't good. For example, the last article I read was from June 2011, and rebels were accused of a mass rape. It was a two-day attack, and 100 women were raped and or beaten. Rebels are also known for making children soldiers, um, taking, killing their parents, making the kids kill their parents. To sum that up, Rebels slash Congo is directly associated with violence. And Tony and Douglas, their whole journey there eventually leads them to find and talk to a rebel leader, a notorious rebel leader, Kunda. And, um, thus provide insight into the Congo. And to give you a critical viewpoint of that, it's not like other documentaries. It's not. It's progressively informative, which I liked. I really like that. You really get into the movie. You feel like you learn what they're learning. They don't know anything when they get there. They learn as they go through the whole film. And you really learn too. It's, it's interesting. It's and that's how a cookie crumbles. And that's the way the cookie No. <laughs> I really liked the documentary. It hands down, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> so I just watched the Roach and Nintendo the first time. Uh, and it was a pretty enjoyable documentary. It had a lot to say, and it, it had a lot of good points, especially with the interview with him at the end. I felt like that was much better than the rest of the film. It, had, it gave me a lot of insight into the rebels and what the government portrays them as and the outside the media portrays them as, as opposed to what they've actually done to the people. They've done a lot more than you've ever heard about. He actually, like, if you go into that zone, it showed that the people are happier and healthier there. But I felt like a lot of the points were lost. Uh, because this was uh, Mr. Arbini's first film and he had a few decisions that I would have made differently about the way the film was cut together in the end. I felt like the rhetoric was a little bit jumbled. But overall, it was very informative and I enjoyed it. watched this documentary and I thought it was pretty interesting. It's really sad to see what all the people are going through over there and that they're not really getting any help from anyone and they're just kind of living in like tents and stuff. Um, I think it's cool that Tony and them are like trying to help them out and getting the word out there and everything but um, I wish that there could be like more that we could do to help them. So. Uh, No hable inglés, señor. Your line is ready. the rebels lived better than the people in the other part of the country, which is kind of cool because that kind of shows that uh, Kunda would have been a great leader. But um, yeah, so I learned a lot. I actually kind of just showed up the last 10 minutes not even sure what it was about. I heard something about cheese.
Hola. I'm not going to tell you guys really what the film was about, but really what I thought about it. Um, you see, Tony, Tony and Douglas, they, they went a long way to take this documentary, and they took it really down to a, a personal level, which to us uh, meant more than uh, I guess it would to anyone else. But it's, uh, it truly shows you how, how hard it is to actually get stuff filmed like correctly and to really get the information like where it is. And they, they, <laughs> they went all the way down through gates and, and all that bureaucracy bullcrap that they talked about. They didn't just go and say, we had a lot, we gotta fill a lot of papers. They actually showed you the, the time and process and frustration that it really took to even get there. And then once they got there, they were just really, it's such a foreign world to be in. And just the, the filming of taking all that stuff, I'm sure it was, it was crazy to do. And they all did it within a certain budget and it was great that they could, they could do that. And that, um, let's see, it's so much when people make things easier for you, as in things like this. It's, it's really hard to go out there to the Congo and go in these little field camps and blah, blah, blah. And it was great that they could go out there and show you like the real source of what's going out there without any of that propaganda saying, well, this, the government's bad, the rebels are bad, whoever's bad. They just, they just went out and showed you on a first three basis of where you are, where they were, and what the, the situation was like. And um, I really respected that. And I thought it was a great film to watch simply because you saw the personal life of these two guys just going out there with whatever equipment they had, just like me and Greg, not that much more fancier than that. And they took that out there all the way to the other side of the world to show their story, to get it out there. And I learned a lot of things on the way, and I learned a lot of things about how that we would do that one day. And uh, I just thought overall it was a great film to watch, not only because it was a documentary, but because it was a great story. That's not funny. Okay. The road to Kunda, guys. This is my, this is what I think about it, for real. Like, these guys are crazy, okay? Douglas and Tony. You guys did some crazy stuff, okay? And for you to even go to the Congo earns my respect, first of all. But, like, the second thing was, like, but the way that you guys like showed like uh, what was going on outside of where the uh, rebels were and um, where the rebels were is like a completely different world from what we think over here. We think all of Africa is just nothing. Like it's just a bunch of crap going on. But in reality, it still is like that. But in, there are places that are just not like that. They're definitely organized and civilized and stuff. But uh, yes, thank you, Mountain Dew. Always oh, good for a Mountain Dew break. Yeah, bottom line is, I really think that this film was pretty good. Um, it's not like any other documentary, once again. Like, I really think that uh, you guys should definitely check it out. And it's definitely something worth watching. I mean, Tony and Doug, I give you mad props. You guys out there in the middle of, like, nowhere. I mean, that's crazy. You waited six hours for a piece of cheese. I wouldn't, I would, I would eat the hamburger without the cheese. I mean, other than that, I mean, it was a really good documentary, you guys. I give you mad props on that. I couldn't really see the movie. I was back here spinning the chair for people. It sucks really bad. But um, what I heard, and what I saw when I glanced over like this, you know, um, it's really wrong what they do out there, but he's making a change, you know, he's, he's doing something. And it's not, after all, it's just media bias on what they want to think, you know? So. Props to you guys, man. Props. Really good documentary. Faster essay. <laughs> Probe it. That's racist. <sighs> it is now a very nice night out. I want to thank you guys for actually sitting there to actually watch our reviews on this. I am going to a bathroom now. Let's walk into the men's room. Uh, let's walk into the women's room. You see, what I think you guys should do now is just watch these other couple of Talk to the vloggies, man. Oh. Get out of here. Sorry, I know you're a woman, right? Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. We're pretty much done for the day. So like the video, favorite if you must, and dislike if you're the...
Rotakun.com. Bye.